A simple thing in this stanza. Achalam stilam. Two words. Hold the body. Trunk, neck and head in one line. With the bottom in the, your, your, your seat firmly established. And the trunk without any move. <coughs> However much you may un try to understand it, you will never grasp. All right. For a demonstration. You all do it. Sit comfortably in your chair. Bottom firm. Come away from your leaning on the back. Hold the body erect. Your palms resting on your knee. Neck, head, and the trunk in one straight line. Hold the body with no movement, even one fraction of a millimeter. And be conscious that you are not moving. Be extremely conscious. If it is moving, hold it, hold it. No move, no move. Be conscious. Look at the climate of your mind. Is it not extremely peaceful? As never ever before? And the moment you become conscious of the mind, the mind starts chattering, babbling. Shift your consciousness to the body. Hold the body without any movement. Watch the climate of gathering peace in the mind. Three, four days you practice it, once or twice a day, you'll become convinced that even your wild mind can be quiet. By holding the body without any more. See the difference of your understanding. The word meaning did give you some understanding, but it becomes confirmed when we start living. Start practicing internet once or twice, tomorrow or day after, and as two, three days you practice it twice, you will find that, yes, you get a self-confidence. Hey, hey, I thought that I am a useless fellow. I can't quite in my mind. A kind of self-confidence comes by practice. See, it's just one part of a verse. When you live it only, the taste can really come. Any amount of explanation. 
serious study. You can become a professor of uh, philosophy in a university, but not unfolding yourself and experiencing anything. 